Hi guys, you welcome to the Laurel Studios. This is another episode of Android Programming. We'll be talking about the Android contacts. Uh, in this application, we're going to be reading uh, the device contacts. And as well, we're going to like uh, create a search uh, field whereby we can search by name. Uh, and also, we can also move to the next contact, uh, get to the previous and to the next contact. You know, we are going to have the, the previous and the next button in which we can uh, uh, move around in the contacts of uh, the device. Okay, uh, this is actually going to use uh, the contact uh, permission from uh, from the uh, hardware uh, where we're going to be setting that in the Android manifest. Okay, I'll be moving straight to the source files where I'll be explaining how to uh, call on the uh, hardware contact or the device contacts uh, from the phone book or from uh, from a safe directory. You know, right inside the phone. You know, this application is actually going to call the contacts. Uh, uh, it's going to like populate it one after the other and give you the uh, the room to uh, navigate through them. And at the same time, you can search through the contact list. Okay. Uh, in the build gradle, uh, in my great model app session, uh, we still maintain the dependencies, compile app compiled version seven and the support design. Okay, I have my compiler SDK 23 and the build tools 23.0.3. Uh, in my project session, I have my class part, the build grade 1.5.0. Okay, I'll be moving straight to the layout of this application where I have the main XML. Okay, this is a table layout. You know, we're, we're talking about the tables in this application. We have the table row, whereby we have the text view with an ID called text ID. And the text uh, view also with an ID called text ID value. Okay, we have another row uh, with the text display name where we're going to display the contact name and also the text display name value. You no, know, the name and uh, that's like the views and the values. Okay, another table row follows with the text phone number and the text on it phone number while we're going to have the text phone number value. Uh, another te table row with the text photo if there's a photo. Okay, uh, with the, with uh, an ID called image photo. Okay, we have another table row with a button. This is a button now for the button first. Okay, with a width of one hundred and seventy-five dp. Okay, and we set an on click to this button first. Okay, we have another button called button previous. Okay, where we have an a width of one hundred and seventy-five dp, and the on click is previous. Uh, another table row follows with the button next, okay, and on our click is next. We have for the button last, okay. We have uh, a table row for the text search, okay, where the, the text on it is the search name, and also we have uh, the Android ID, which is the autocomplete text view for the text search value. So there's an autocomplete for this, okay. We have another table row for the button search. And uh, a button also for the button clear search. This is actually going to clear the search. And we have a closing table row and a closing table layout. Okay, uh, I'll be moving straight to the logic of the application, which is the Java class, where we have the main activity. Uh, this extends uh, activity where we imported the database cursor, the content, the widget, and also the graphics. Okay, and also we're going to call from the Java input and output the Java IO. Okay, uh, we set the cursor, we set the text ID value, the text display name value, and also the text phone number value. Okay, where we have the autocomplete text view as text search value, we have the image photo, we have for the bottom first, the bottom previous, next, and for search, we have the string names and also the position. Okay, we have an create method that calls on the layout main XML where we're going to uh, instantiate the various fields uh, called with its uh, corresponding IDs. Okay, now we're going to have a cursor loader to create an object from it called loader uh, where we're going to call on the contacts and we're going to load in background. So it's actually going to happen in background. So we have the Y loop uh, where move to text. Okay. Uh, there's going to be an area adapter or that's going to actually uh, call on the layout and give a simple drop down item line okay this is where we're going to call on the text search value and set its threshold to one and also set its adapter to repeat 
value of the adapter passed in. Okay, we have for the show contact. This method is being passed here with an attribute of cursor. Okay, this is going to get the string and also display name. When you get the string, uh, it's going to get the column index based on the contacts and the contacts ID. Okay, we have for the display name, which is going to get the column index as well. Based on the contact display name. Okay, for the photo, uh, this is going to be a bitmap. And the stream is actually going to open the contact photo input stream, uh, where you're going to get the contact URIs with appended to. Okay, uh, that's for the uh, the show contact uh, method. We have for the first method, where we're going to move to first and show the contact. Uh, likewise, for the previous, you move to previous. Uh, the next also move to next, and the last move to last. Okay. Now we have the search method. Okay, this is going to this, we have an if statement for the text search value. We're going to get the text, pass it to string, and also convert, trim it up, and get its length, and test if the length is greater than zero. If it's it, if, if the length is greater than zero, uh, the contacts uh, is going to call on the contact URI and also the loader. We call on the cursor loader by calling the new uh, instantiating this uh, class. With a new cursor loader and creating an object from it, whereby you're going to load the background. In the cursor loader, you're going to display the name, concatenate with the text search value, that's when you search for it, and um, also get the display name uh, as in an, in an ascending order. Yes, see, it's ascending, okay, an ascending order. Okay, else uh, you're going to get uh, the display name as well. Where this is going to load in background, and you're going to move the position, you're going to move to next. Okay, there's a clear search method where you're going to clear the text, make it empty. Uh, in the text field, probably you type in something you want to clear it up. There's a button called clear search, which is going to clear up uh, the, uh, the fields, the input text. You have to show all method, okay, which are actually going to pass the contacts as well, and also the loader. Okay, whereby you're going to load in background and move to the next uh, uh, to the next uh, contact. We have the enable disable button. You know, uh, this is actually going to test for if it's first and if it's last. It's going to set enable this when uh, the button is going to be like active or not active. When we need to be active, that's what these are. Uh, if statements are all doing okay. Uh, let's look at the Android manifest. Okay, uh, we need to include a permission called the Android permission read contact. This permission is very, very important. Uh, you have to include this permission, or else it won't be able to read uh, the device contact. Okay, and also we have the activity, uh, the launch activity, which is the main activity. You know, uh, I'll be uploading the source files to my GitHub account and also. I'll be showing this in an Android emulator, so stay tuned. Here we go with the contact application. If you notice, we have the contact ID 1, the contact name admin, and the phone number 1234. That's it for the first contact. Uh, we have our search name, the search field, where we uh, the button to, to, to actually search, and the button to clear off the search field. Okay, uh, we'll get to look at the search field, but let us toggle in between the, the next and the previous button to get to see all contacts in this saved in this device. The first, okay, this, the third is Bamadeli uh, with a phone number. You can see the phone number. Let's get to switch. Okay, we have another one for the customer care. One to one is the phone number. We have for the direct studios. Uh, the second one, uh, this is the phone number. So you can toggle, you no know, backwards, you no know, get to move backwards. You can also use your the next, that's the next button, previous, uh, the next, and the previous, you know, this is for the next, this is for the uh, back. Okay, you can toggle in between contacts, get the, even if the contacts are up to like 50, you get it uh, populated with its ID and the contact name comes out with a phone number. Okay, let's get to search for uh, Ramadele. Okay, we click on our search. Okay, no result found. 
search. Okay, uh, it is case sensitive. I'll need to uh, just uh, include that so that it's going to take off the case sensitive. You know, if uh, it's in uppercase or lowercase, let it accept. You know, that's just the only thing there. But that's fine. This is a full blown application. You can still work more on this. You know, it's like a, a startup. You know, this is where to actually uh, get uh, the contacts of each user. You know, even WhatsApp actually use this kind of uh, uh, logic. So all get your contacts. You know, attach them to uh, the uh, to uh, pictures. Attach them to a particular user. You know, you can also use these and uh, work more on these. You know, to manipulate uh, device contacts. You know, being saved right on the device, either on the scene or in the cloud, probably in a uh, in Gmail. Or, you know, you can save your contact to Gmail uh, to Google. You know, or you save it right on the phone. Or you save it on the sim so you can actually pick you know get uh, the contact from different sources and populate it in your application use it anywhere how you want it you can actually add users to it and also make uh, a full-blown application from this but this is the basic way of how to actually search for contact in your device on the, on your Android device and uh, populate it uh, in the UI of the application and also toggle in between it uh, using the uh, next and the backwards button and you can also use the search uh, for a field to search for a particular name of contact thank you very much for hanging out with me throughout this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe to my channel have a wonderful time bye bye